all right what's going on guys it's your boy zilchi and welcome back to another solo leveling arise video today's video we are going to be taking a look at a full eight piece set for the curse set for song jinu which right now is his best set in the game as you can see i have 177 overall total power it boosts your power is so much even if you're free to play you probably have it around 160 150 or even more than that maybe even more than mine so this set is very 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 good for uh overall combat powers which will help you out in your battle tier in the uh the menu section there so you can get your rewards and stuff but yeah we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that if you guys do enjoy this video hit that like button comment share and subscribe and let's just hop straight into it all right so over here as you can see we have the full eight piece set here i don't have everything gold unfortunately because some of the gold stats just are absolutely awful but we have some decent purple pieces here which i do wish are were gold i'm gonna be honest with you but you know it is what it is let's take a look at what we're getting here so on the helmet piece we're getting attack percent 20 percent and we have crit rate which is very very strong this is what i really wanted for this one i wanted attack percent not additional attack because now attack obviously even before we knew this but attack percent was always better for song jinu than additional attack however if you could get a piece with attack percent and additional attack that would be great i'm probably not going to change this piece for a while i'm gonna be honest with you until we get like a gold piece with attack percent uh and crit rate because my crit rate comes from my artifacts only two of them right now only two of them uh for the back piece we have additional defense hp and attack percent i don't have any crit rate on this one unfortunately but as you can see i have a 23 percent attack percent on this one right my attack plus three i got really lucky on it it went to plus three imagine if i had plus four that'd be crazy uh the hand piece i have crit rate additional attack and attack percent unfortunately i did not get anything on the attack percent here which would have brought him up to like nine percent i believe uh overall when you get it on this piece on the gold piece we brought it up to nine percent but yeah, I didn't get that, unfortunately. Instead, it went on the additional HP, which I'm not gonna complain, right? I still, this piece is still pretty decent because of the crit rate, and I wanted to use it anyway, right? So, the foot piece, this one was very good. The crit damage and the crit rate. I didn't get anything on the crit rate, but it still was over a thousand, so I just tossed it on there. Uh, this went to defense penetration plus two, and yeah, this is a very good piece for him. Uh, the right side we have the necklace which is additional hp attack percent which is what we're looking for and if you could have crit damage you would want to get that but i'm not sure if this piece actually drops crit damage no i think it does it does drop crit damage so you want attack percent and crit damage somewhere in here and then you'll be golden on that one this one very 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 good piece here i have dark damage attack plus two and the crit hit damage very strong i can't say anything wrong about it right because we have dark damage which is what he does a lot of his weapons his best weapons are dark so very 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 good uh piece right there this one again attack percent is the main stat that i aimed for and i did get it no crit damage unfortunately but i have enough crit damage from the other pieces so this one went up to 21 percent which is actually more i mean less than what we're getting over here on this arm piece right no what was it this one 23 percent when that was a plus three whereas this one is a 21 percent and that's the main stat right so very very good pieces both of those the attack percent again one of his most important stat that you want to be rolling for so now we have the earrings which is additional mp do you will always get additional mp as the main stat for this one nothing you can do about that but you can get attack percent and crit hit damage on this side and i did not get lucky but i mean i did technically get lucky because i got plus two on the crit hit damage which is very good but i would have want the additional hp one to go on the attack percent and it would have been golden so yeah those are my artifacts and now i'm going to make a video about two of his best builds because this one is very good but there's also another build which is a four piece of the expert set on the right side and it's very 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 strong with the um the curse set on the left side so i'm going to take a look at that in another video if you guys are interested in that but yeah let's go ahead and hop into some gameplays all right here we go sung jinu himself pulling up on the battlefield all right let's see let us see the curse set works very well it builds up it stacks very fast literally just by standing there you gain stacks right so now obviously if you're doing attacks and stuff you gain a lot more Like this. 
Already 26%. Very strong. Very, very, very strong. Look at this. He should be dead. Alright, GG. Now we're gonna fight the other bear. We're gonna fight the other bear. This, this one was actually slower compared to my other ones, but... On the other ones, I usually get like perfect, perfect time. I think my high score for Sanjiu defeating this bear or the quickest time that I had was like 22 seconds. So we're eight seconds less or higher, I guess, than um, what I used to get. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the other bear. All right, here we go. Then after this, we're going to fight uh, even a harder stage because I found another one. Might be a new showcase stage. Maybe not because it, it actually is pretty tough. I'll show you guys in a sec. I'll show you guys right after this fight. Let's see. Okay, wait for that. Go here. Use this right now. Keep in mind, I do have some blessings as well that is affecting my um, overall damage. And he's dead. Oh, that's GG's. <laughs> I actually didn't expect to kill him that quick. I'll be honest. Right, let's go to the next one. Okay, so this one is one of the newer... Um, battlefield or the battlefield floor, right? This one is with the tanky guy, tanky, tanky boy. Okay, here we go. Okay, are they why do you take so long to get in there? I don't know why it took them so long to just pull up. I'm using uh, black hole for this section, it takes too long. I'll be honest with you. Let's go like this. Are they dead? Okay, nice. Uh, let's move on to the next. I'm gonna see if I can beat that trophy that we that we have for it. Right, I have to beat it in 150 seconds, which is completely possible. I'm gonna call up my shadows as well. Hold up. I could get my alt as well. All right. Thankfully, I have some really good blessings. Though. Like I never really noticed that. To like. <laughs> Yesterday. <laughs> I had some really good investing so like this. But here. Yo, hold on. That actually did zero damage. Why? Why did I do no damage? We need to understand. But this is the full bloom. I'm actually going to use this here. Some extra damage. Perfect. I'm going to get hit through that. Yeah, I already knew. I already knew. Okay, I'm gonna wait. Use this now. Perfect. So now I'm gonna use the ult right after this. I'm gonna call them in again. Use this. Then use this, and this should be GG's. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, it's not GG's. It's not GG's. But it is gonna be a lot of damage. I don't know if it's gonna be enough to defeat it in 150 seconds. Oof, that was close. Use this. Oh, yes! That was, this is why the 8 piece set is so good. After this, we're gonna read what exactly what we're getting from the 8 piece set. Alright, nice. Okay, I played absolutely awful. So I don't think I got the uh, the mission though. I don't think so. Let's see. Let's see. If we did, GG's. Oh, we did. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and read what the 8P set does. Okay, here we go. So, 2 set. If you have the 2 set, right? You have the curse effect increases a damage taken by 20%. So, that's why we take a lot more damage uh, when you see me... Uh, fighting a lot of these bosses if i get hit once it's like a quarter of my health right there right so we do take a lot more damage when you're using this set keep that in mind if you're not a good player like a player that knows how to dodge very well then this set probably won't be the best for you right but you could run other sets but once you start to learn how to dodge better and stuff like that utilize your dashes to the max then this set I recommend heavily for you guys, right? Increased damage dealt by 10% and additionally increased damage dealt by 0.1% every one second. So that's what you were seeing uh, over the course 
of the time like even just getting inside the battlefield you get this buff right so even just standing there will get you that buff so this one stacks a lot faster than the expert set which is why the eight piece set i do believe is better because you get those stacks a lot quicker uh, but there's certain if you only have two set i be, i do believe that the expert set is a lot better all four pieces uh, now we have the four piece set applies the rescue effect if the user has 25 percent hp or less they recover 25 percent of their hp activates only once per dungeon that's what you saw when i was down below 25 percent i got back that 25 percent basically you saw that just now eight piece the curse effect enhances the burning curse increases the user's damage taken by 20 percent increases user's damage dealt by 30 percent and additionally increases the damage dealt by 0.2 percent every one second and it stacks up to 100 times so this is obviously a better version of the two-piece set up here it gives you a lot more buffs a higher percentage in your buffs as well and yeah that's why this set is very good for him because overall it's just a damage set the other sets are good too like the burning greed which is probably his next best set but you have to be able to break a boss 10 times or not break a boss but hit i think you have to hit him with the break skill 10 times and then you start to get the buffs from that however not every boss in this game needs to be broken right whereas you're using this piece you're getting this buff as soon as you enter the field so yeah that's pretty much it if you guys did enjoy this video hit that like button comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace